What's up everybody, it's Quillstillin, and welcome to my new Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. As you probably saw before we started, that little cutscene thing, hopefully I remembered to put that in. But uh, I'm going to have, you know, my character named Link, obviously, because that makes the most sense. And uh, let's get started, shall we? And we have a nice little, little cutscene here. Oh man, I, I'm so excited. You know, this game is so fun, and I finally get a chance to let's play it, you know? So, anyway, that guy's a little scary looking. Like, my god. He's got like five rows of teeth, he's giant, and scaly, and lizard-like, and evil looking. Oh yeah, and uh, this game was made for the 25th anniversary, which makes sense, I guess. But anyway, here we go. There is a bird. Yep. We got a bird, guys. Oh, there's, there's another bird. Look at the other bird. And a giant floating rock thing. A rock thing with buildings and stuff on it. Yep. So descriptive. And anyway, those people are jumping off the rock thing to their death. And there is an island there defying the laws of gravity. And then... Singing? Okay.
So anyway, that, that was a little tidbit of a song that's fairly important throughout the game. But, uh, that right there, that is Zelda. If you didn't know already, which you probably should have guessed from the blonde hair. So, yeah. Well, anyway. Welcome to Skyloft. This is basically the central area of the game. You pretty much start in Skyloft. And this is Link. As we all know. And there's that evil lizard thing we saw before. And a light. Pink light. And it's like, no, pink light is evil. Rise, Link. The time has come for you to awaken. I didn't know this was Link's awakening. Huh. Weird. You are fated to have a hand in a great destiny, and it will soon find you. The time has come for you to awaken, Link. Oh my god. The light is gone. This thing is trying to murder us. And Link's just like, oh, oh, whatever. I'll just, what? Oh my god. Wh what? What? Okay. That, that's a little, that's a little odd. A little odd there. And we fall out of bed. And there's a giant bird thing in our window. Hi, bird thing. How's it going? <laughs> smooth. Smooth. Good job, Link. And we have a letter. Hey, sleepyhead! I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? Rise and shine, Link. Today's the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it starts. Remember? You'd better not keep me waiting. Zelda. So, we gotta go and uh, talk to Zelda, guys. So, anyway, for those of you who probably guessed this already, or those who didn't, I'm playing using the uh, limited edition Golden Zelda Remote. So, that's awesome. This is Link's room. This is Link. All the controls are in that little Wii Remote that Link is staring at right now. So, anyway, we're gonna go out the door. Because we can. You know... I wish I had... Whoa. Screen just, like, spazzed on me there. Oh. Someone's talking to us. Hi, guy. If you're heading over to the plaza, the quickest way is out the door on the ground floor. The exit on the top floor is still locked, so you obviously can't get out there. Fine. I get it. But, like I was saying, um... I would be using the Golden Nunchuck if I had the Club Nintendo coins when it was on Club Nintendo. It makes me sad because this Nunchuck is kind of crappy. It came with my Wii, and I haven't gotten a new one since. It's old, kind of unsensitive, <laughs> so, you know, I, I can deal with it, it's fine, but, you know. It'd be nice to have a nice matching one. And yeah, this Skyloft, I said that already. Such calming music. So, anyway. Let's head this way. Or not? Okay. Hey, Link! Up here! Hey, guy. Good morning to you, Link. Today is finally the day of the long-awaited wing ceremony. Are you feeling ready? Oh, I just remembered, there's something I'd like to ask you about. Look this way while pressing and holding Z, and press A to have a quick chat with me. Okay, so, there's Z targeting for you. Excellent! Always remember you could press Z to target something. Once you have targeted someone with Z, you could easily talk to him or her by pressing A. And even when there isn't anything to target, pressing Z is a convenient way to quickly face your view forward. Oh, but it's a little silly to carry on a conversation from this distance. Why don't you come up here and join me? Now, um, sadly, the first time I played this game, you know, like a week after it came out, uh, you know, I, I couldn't actually do this part, which makes me sad because I'm not that bad at a game. But, um, also... This is the first Zelda game where you have, um, like, running, but, you know, 
you have a limited time running, as you probably noticed from that green, like, pie chart thing. And, you know, like every other Zelda game, we have Auto Jump! And let's talk to you. So, what are you up to? Rushing to get some last minute bird riding practice in this morning, Link? Oh? You have someone to meet? Ah, oh, Zelda's waiting for you, is she? Perfect timing, then. You see, Zelda's father, Headmaster Gapora, has a pet named Mia, and, well, she scampered off again. Yeah. Look at it. Oh, that thing. Mm. I don't like that thing. Sure, I'll get your little cat demon for you. You you guys will see what I mean later on. That thing's an evil little little butt nugget. I don't like it. So anyway, this little part here is basically introductory and my screen is like spazzing on me. I don't know if that's viewable in the in the video. But you could also shake shake the remote to um move faster across ledges and vines and stuff. See? Leap! And then we got some block pushing here. Oh no! Don't don't even talk to me. I know how to do this. Yes, I know. I gotta push the block. Yes, I I know, I know how to play the game, game. So let's move the block, shall we? Awesome. Whoop. Whoop. And there we go. Let's grab the uh maniac cat thing. And, you know, take the little cheap cheap uh whee method. Nice work! You've brought her back safe and sound. Sorry for troubling you with this. I know you're busy, Link. I suppose I should feed Mia now. Please tell the headmaster that we found his pet. He should be up by the statue of the goddess. And that's where Zelda is anyway, so we're going to take care of all of that in one fell swoop. So, that that's that's awesome. Oh, these statues are important in a little bit. You guys will see. Oh, and these little green... Stamina fruits. Yeah, they fill up your, um... Stamina gauge. So, you know, you could run longer. So, yeah. And we got a little cutscene here. Uh, and it's another bird! Hi, bird. And there's Zelda. Oh, here comes Link. Hey, Link. Sup, home dog. So yeah, uh, Zelda apparently sings in this game. So yeah. I'm glad to see my Loftwing got you out of bed. Oh, so that's what the birds are called. Okay. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. But look at this instrument, and look at this outfit. They're mine to use today in the ceremony, since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. Irony. You guys will see what I mean way later on in the game. Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. They can't tell me it's just like the one the goddess was said to have in the legends. It sounds gorgeous, too. I asked father about it, and he says it's called a harp. 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 Yes, everyone knows what a harp is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop talking. Just give me... I don't know. I, I don't... I just don't know. How do I look? Uh <laughs> Really? You know, eh, maybe it does look a little weird. Oh, there you are, Zelda. Are you all prepared for today's ceremony? 
Oh, hello, Father. Ah, oh, Link, you're here too. Outstanding. It's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. No doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. If you win today's ceremonial race, you'll be you'll get to participate in the post-race ritual with Zelda. So give it your best out there. Yes, about that. Father, I don't know if he can do it. Recently, Link has been practicing much at all for the ceremony. And even when he's out riding his loft wing, he's just lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming. I don't know what he's thinking. He's going to have to be in his perfect control, blah, 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 blah. No need to worry yourself, Zelda. Though you may have a point, today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider as well as his bond to his bird. Victory will not come easily. And, as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But you've known him since you were both very little. You should know better than to fret about him. You see, Link and his loft wing share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but half of a pair. We are only made whole by our loft wings, the guardian birds that the goddess bestows upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. When we are young, every one of us meets our loft wing under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, as I'm sure you recall. Ah, but that first meeting between Link and his loft wing was extraordinary. The bird that came to him was a crimson loftwing. It is a breed so rare we were sure for some time that it had vanished from the line. Yes, and the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection from the moment they met. Do you recall when Link and that loftwing of his first met? What a sight! Okay, my voice hurts now. I don't want to read anymore. So, uh, yeah. Plus, uh, going a little over on time, so, yeah. Anyway! What's wrong, Link? What a weird laugh. Okay. So, uh, this is like a big, like, long cutscene here. Meh. Okay, so... I guess we gotta take part in that uh, ceremony thing and win the race. What if Link messes up? I don't know. Because he's a big screw up. You know, it's not like he made it through, you know, how many games? Or, well, technically this is his first ever, you know, adventure. So, you know, no reincarnation here. This is the original Link. Oh my god. She's going to make us commit suicide and jump off the edge. Uh-huh. Don't push me, don't push me, don't... Smooth. He's like, oh crap. Hmm? His bird sure is taking a long time to get here. Something's wrong! Oh, so that blue bird is Zelda's. Okay, I should have probably mentioned that. Hang in there, Link. I've got you. Thank you. Are you two all right? I don't know where the loft wing could be.
Hmm. So, our bird is missing, and we need it to participate in the wing ceremony. Well, that's a problem. Pretty large problem, actually. So, yeah. We gotta go find the bird. Soon. Because that sound probably means that it's starting soon. Okay, so I guess we gotta go talk to that guy who uh, taught us how to play the game earlier. You know, see if he'll delay the ceremony for a bit. So... Oh, a little foreshadowing there. You guys will see what I mean. I... Oh... I notice I do that a lot. You know? I'll just be saying, like, Oh, hey, pay attention to this. It's important. But anyway... Um... So... That's a lot of information that we just learned in, you know, like 10 minutes. Pretty long cutscene. So, you know what? I'm going to teach you all what this thing does. Because, you know, this is a fairly long episode. So, I think we kind of have to stop it right here. So, next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we'll be trying to find our Loftwing. So... See you guys next time. I'm Quillacillin, signing out. Peace.